guys, welcome to Thoughtful Thursday. Today we're talking about how to overcome obstacles. So I have five steps for you guys. Make sure you put in the comments what is your favorite step. But as always, make sure you subscribe <laughs> so that you're the first to know when there's a new video uploaded on Thoughtful Thursday. And of course, if there's a topic that you want to discuss, put in the comments. All right, let's get started. These are going to be good. Step number one, have the right mindset. Mindset is everything everything. If you don't have the right mindset, you're not going to overcome those obstacles. That's it. So I can't even begin to describe how mindset is everything. But what I will say is when you're talking about overcoming obstacles, I think back on when it was perceived that humans were incapable of running one mile in less than four minutes. Now, has Tierra run a mile in less than four minutes? No. But it was once perceived that humans were incapable of running less than a mile, running a mile in less than four minutes, until someone came along and ran a mile in less than four minutes. How did he do it, right? He used visualization, and he visualized himself crossing the finish line and seeing the timer under four minutes. Here's the crazy thing. So before this had happened, no one had ever done it, and that's why they determined that humans were incapable of doing it. Since he he broke this record in the 70s, that record has been broken over 2,000 times. Why? It's now perceived as possible. Even high school kids are breaking this four-minute mile because they know it's possible. Your mindset changes the game. Whether you think you're right or you think you're wrong, you're probably right. Step number two, learn to find the good. Good's not always going to be there. The good is not always going to be available. But actively work towards finding the good in any scenario and you'll learn to look at your obstacles as challenges and not roadblocks. It's okay, even if you look at it as a stop sign. As long as that stop sign doesn't hold you back permanently, like it's okay to rest. It's okay to take a break, but you cannot give up. You have to get through this obstacle. And when you take away the choice, all of a sudden, you start recognizing that there is some good to come from this. Like, yes, it's an obstacle and yes, it's a challenge, but is there something good that could possibly come from it? anything start looking for it instead of looking for the bad that's associated with that obstacle step number three do the work my personal favorite do the work do the work do the work i heard a quote and it said the basically the prescription for feel fear of failure is planning and so if you plan and actually put that plan in place, baby, baby, you'll begin to see the results that you're looking for. Put in that work. You're not going to be able to overcome obstacles easily. That's why they're considered obstacles. It's supposed to challenge you. It's supposed to be difficult. And it's supposed to stretch you. Are you going to meet that challenge or are you going to bow down? The choice is yours. Step number four. Find your bounce back. Listen, I've had my share of obstacles. However, when you think about your life as a slingshot and you think about the fact that when you're pulled back, you're in position to be propelled forward. Find your bounce back, whatever that looks like for your obstacle, and making sure that you have uh, people in place to encourage your bounce back to making sure like... You want people who are reinforcing you, not telling you, hey, you know you shouldn't be doing this. Hey, you know you can't do that. Hey, you can't do this. Why not? Why can't I overcome this obstacle? Why can't I? Have the right people in your corner who are encouraging your bounce back and not blocking you from it. Step number five, 
look at the big picture. Really take a moment and sit back and say, hmm, what can I learn from this? What can I, why am I experiencing this? What can I do differently? How can I change it? Focus your energy on what you actually have the ability to improve. If you can't control it, let it go. But if you do have the ability to control it and you have the desire to control it, go back to my favorite. Step number three, do the work. It honestly is that simple. So looking at the big picture allows you to reevaluate your stress levels. It allows you to reevaluate your action plan. And it allows you to reevaluate what's important in this process, what's necessary, what's luxury, and govern yourself accordingly. So. Let's run through the steps, and as I'm doing so, make sure you comment your favorite step. Step number one, have the right mindset. That might be tied for my favorite. That might be tied. <laughs> have the right mindset. Step number two, learn to find the good. Step number three, do the work, which is my favorite, or tied for my favorite. Step number four, find your bounce back. Step number five, look at the big picture. So make sure you put in the comments your favorite step. Make sure you subscribe so that you are the first to know when the next Thoughtful Thursday has been uploaded. And as always, I want to hear your thoughts. If there's a topic that you want to discuss or something that you want us to go deeper into, definitely put in the comments. Let me know. These discussion posts are for you guys. So I want you to make the most of it. Well, let me know what you want to talk about. All right, guys. Thanks.